Hey everyone, happy Friday. Thanks for joining me for a craft night with friends. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish where we make cute embroidery kits for beginners. And I'm here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. And it's a time that we can relax and craft together uh, for about an hour here. Uh, so, all right, tonight I'm all set up, got all the quilting gear out, and uh, we're going to take the jade jellyfish that we finished last night and also uh, the inchworm, and we are going to do some free motion quilting on them. So first I got to press them. We got to assemble the pieces together, and I, I think we'll still have time to, like, quilt both of them tonight. So that's that's the plan. I also have the G giraffe and uh, this one's all ready to go but I'm hoping to do this one hand quilting. So I do have hand quilting stuff here and maybe we can start to figure that out a little bit as well tonight. So all right let's get going. Did we make it to quilting last night? Caitlin no we did not. So uh, this is this is night one of quilting and I'm hoping to get both these designs done tonight. So all right let's get going. Okay, so here are the designs. So first things first, I do want to press them. So I have my iron heated up. It's probably stupid to do it right on my stuff here, but we're going to just go real quick. So all I'm going to do is just press that hoop edge a tish. I'm not going to, I'm not going to like go all on the back or I don't think I need to press it a ton. We're just going to quickly quickly go over it here and eh, maybe I'll just do a quick bloop over the back. I usually do this um, with a big towel like a fluffy towel underneath but this time we're just doing it quick getting it done. There I think that's good enough. We'll set that one aside. Let's do the uh, eye quickly. And then I want to pin these together. Uh, with the back fabric and the batting fabric. Then we're ready to quilt. We'll do a little practice thing. I got my uh, my practice board here. And there we go. I think that will do the job. So, okay, let's pin our pieces together. I'm going to do that on my cutting mat here just so that I don't scrape anything up. So, I have... Uh, batting, we have it for the jellyfish and and the inchworm, and then the back fabric. So the back fabric is directional, so I have to flip it so it's uh, downward facing, but I also want uh, the, the animals to be upright. So I'm going to have that at the top, like the top of the animals at the top. And then here is the batting. So this is that natural, warm and natural batting. And uh, one side's a lot whiter than the other. Uh, this one's really speckled. So I want the speckled to the back, like so. I don't think I need to tape this down or anything. These are small pieces, so it's not like a big honking quilt where I got to tape down all the edges. All right, and then let's stick this guy on front. And then one thing new I have is I cut this little square when I was at my parents' house. So this is that eight and a half inch square um, that that we're ultimately going to cut this this down to. So I thought we could just kind of center this, and I'm going to just mark it like the corners a little bit, um, so I know like the area that isn't going to be quilted. I just think that'll be a little helpful. So I think that looks kind of good. So I'm just going to go like boop, boop. And this we can get off with um, water later. And you know what? I think let's do a little bit on the edges too. So we know, oops, I bumped it. So this, this doesn't really matter, but it'll just help when we're working on the design. So like if I'm writing something or if I'm drawing, you know, we talked about drawing little apples on this one. I'll just know um, that I'll like be within that shape. So if I, if I do the quilting out on this edge, it's not going to matter so much. So let me scroll to see your comments here. Is there a hand quilting stitch that I can use on all 26 letters of the alphabet? Uh, Sheila, absolutely. So uh, the... 
the um, hand quilting when we do that, that is very literally only going to be a running stitch. So we're just going up and down and up and down and up and down. So it's just going to be a dashed line basically. And then you can go in whatever path you like. Um, I don't have a specific design, um, like, you know, scallops or circles or whatever. I don't have any specific de design that I'm going to be using on the one that I'm doing. Uh, so, I mean, I think just like straight lines would be pretty or just going around and around the shape, uh, the center shape. So, I don't know. Those are a couple ideas. I mean, you can, uh, people who do a lot of hand quilting or like specialize in hand quilting. I mean, they can do like feathers and all, all this stuff. So it's really, really um, up to you what you'd like to do. I'm probably gonna just, tra well, I don't know yet, um, but we're gonna do that for the draft. But in my head right now, I'm probably just gonna trace around the character and I don't know, maybe keep tracing around it. I have like, this guy here that we did, uh, and I just traced around it and then went around and around and around. So it was kind of an organic shape. On the back, though, I did do some scallops. So you could do, uh, like, scallops across the whole thing. Like, you could even go over the embroidery if you wanted, um, theoretically. So I don't have any, any real ideas for that right now. But I should start thinking about that because I could see maybe doing another hand hand done one too. That's that's something I want to get better at. So all I'm doing now is I'm just kind of pinning the three layers together. I don't think I need oodles of pins. Well, enough so everything, all the shapes stay decent. So we'll do this with the jellyfish right away too, and then we'll get quilting. I think we'll start quilting with the jellyfish because I have a kind of a more clear idea uh, what to do for that one. So how, oh Robin, I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, so how, I'm not sure what you're asking. Um, what you're making, uh, we are making ultimately a quilt uh, that will be the whole alphabet full of these cute little embroideries with animals on each embroidery. This is the letter I, and we are going to be quilting them all. So we're doing the quilt as you go process. So this piece is ready. Let's get the, let's get the jellyfish ready. So again, our, our back fabric down first with the animals upright. So we're doing the quilt as you go method, which means we can sew all of these little like basically mini quilts together and then we can um, assemble them later. How many yards do you need? Oh, um, I'm gonna have to look that up. Actually, we did a blog post about that, I think, Robin. So if you go to penguinandfish.com to the blog area, I think we did a whole or actually, if you go to the, the um, ABC Stitch Along link, we should have a direct link to that. Uh, somewhere on there, there'll be a link to the instructions on how much, how much fabric you need and all that. We did a little blog post for that. Oh, you can't sew a straight line. Luckily, uh, we won't be sewing straight lines tonight. We're going to do a type of quilting called free motion quilting. So uh, that's where we basically just move it's almost like drawing with stitches so we're going to be moving our our um, fabric around and around and around and uh, it's just going to be stitching in place right so if we're moving our fabric and the uh, um, sewing machine is just stitching in place uh, we can draw designs so that's that is the plan tonight so it's called free motion quilting and you know there's big machines that do that we're just doing that on our, our home machine here Oh, you know what? I I'm like, why does this feel different than the than the um, inchworm? It's because we didn't we didn't do our little centering thing. So let's do this quick. I should press this maybe. All right, let's let's try and center the jellyfish, and we'll add all those little points on there too. Oh, that looks pretty good, right? 
This will help us later too when we want to cut. It'll just give us a little guide for that too, so we can square it up, get in the general area we were thinking. I'm still going to go outside this edge when I quilt, but again, this is just going to be like a visual, give me a better visual idea of if I'm in a safe zone or not. There we are. Okay, that feels better. Something felt missing. Very cool. Free motion quilting, exactly. So I'm still learning. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've done it for a little while now, but man, I, I still definitely feel like I'm in the, I'm in the learning stage, um, for designs and all that. Like I'll be holding my breath every time I start stitching and people have to keep reminding me to breathe. Ooh, grass and bugs. Oh yeah. So we talked about doing an apple. Yep, this will be the seams too, exactly. So this will be, we'll be sewing, this line will be kind of where the seams are. Actually, it'll be where it's, it'll be where the, we cut. So the seams will still be a quarter inch in on all these. So I, this is an eight and a half inch square. Ultimately, it's going to be an eight inch square once it's sewn into the quilt. All right, so I'm reading comments too. How many yards of fabric did you get for the backside? Uh, Sheila, I, I don't remember for sure. Is there, uh, um, but I do, I did do a blog post with it. I don't know if you are here when I was mentioning that earlier. Uh, if you go to penguinandfish.com, there should be an ABC stitch along section. And on that page, I think way at the bottom, I think we have a link to the blog post. Otherwise you can go to the blog and, um, or you can just go to our search bar. That's always the easiest place to find stuff if you know what you're looking for on our site. Uh, if you go to the search bar on the top of our main page and just type in like ABC Stitch Along, way at the bottom underneath like the products, there'll be a couple line items of like the blog posts. You can click from there. Uh, and then somewhere there I, I mentioned, uh, I, I believe what we needed for the back, the back measurements. Okay. Oh, crawling on leaves. Okay, Catherine, I'm liking it. We could do, like, I like the apple idea for, for the inchworm, but I like that he could be crawling on leaves. What if he's, what if we do just like a, what if we don't trace him? What if we just do like a big leaf behind him and then like an apple up here as if he's like looking at the apple, like he's ready to eat the apple and then we can just do some other leaves. Ooh, I like it. Okay, totally love that idea. Maybe we can even draw it out with the um, water soluble marker too. I haven't, um, there is a project. So the, the, um, the uh, what, are, what are we calling that? The um, triangle tango, the triangle tango project. I do wanna draw the whole, all the free motion quilting on um, beforehand. So this might be a good test of that. So I love that. All right, so we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw a whole scene on this guy. We're gonna have like a little apple, we'll have some leaves and some branches and hopefully I can get in and out of it with free motion quilting. I'm always scared about that. Um, oh, I don't know yet, Gretchen. I'm gonna have to look. Okay. So let's start with this jellyfish. So I'm all set up on the machine, but I do want to do a little bit of practice. So I have, I have um, my little clipboard that I'm using as uh, like a practice sheet. So for the jellyfish, so I'm just gonna kind of draw the jellyfish. Loop, near, near, J. Jay. Okay, let's draw some more guys in there. Let's draw the smiley. There we go. <laughs> There's our jellyfish. Uh, all right, so we talked about doing maybe like bubbles, but we also talked about doing like waves, <laughs> water. I'm like, what is that thing that goes like this called? So I was thinking like, it would be kind of cool. I don't know how to get, this is my big issue is like, how do I get in and out of shapes, you know? So you know, we could start on the side and I could go like zoosh and, you know, another little like squiggly. And then I could turn those into like a bunch of pebbles, which is where you just fill in an area with circles, which would look like bubbles is kind of, oops, what I'm thinking. 
And then we could just do more like water lines. I don't know, does that look like water though? I think I might then fill in with more shapes. I'm not sure I'm making that look like water. Let's let's try on the other side here. Maybe we are, maybe I just go a little bit bigger. Like or what if we did like those swooshy lines again? So I could go in. This is always hard for me. Spiral my way out of here. And then maybe bubble out of there. And then I could come this way and do a little spiral. So just like some sideways spirals. Like so, and then like these little pebbles that theoretically look a little bit like water. I think that's kind of the way to go. I, I like this side better. Um, I'm just thinking the other way we could just do like these spirals, but I do like the idea of these bubbles. So I don't even think I'm going to trace him. I think we'll just get near him with these bubbles. Maybe we work on the size. So maybe, maybe these are extra large. So like we're coming in, I already screwed this one up, but like, let's say we're coming in big with these. Oh jeez. I really have trouble with these. And then maybe the pebbles feel smaller. I'm not doing them very well, but I'm just trying to get a thought through. <laughs> I think I got to look at this. So I think I got to think about it as shapes like this. Let's just, let me try drawing that again. I go in and I spiral around big and then I have to get my way out of it. Then I can go under again and over. Yeah, okay. All right, I think I got it. Let's just give it a go. <laughs> At some point you just gotta do it, right? So this gave me a little bit of like hand feeling to this. So let's let's give it a go. I'm gonna have this nearby too so I can kind of see, especially those spirals. That's the thing with free motion quilting that I, that I just really um, find difficult two things, I, those spirals and then like getting in and out of places. So luckily with um, these pebbles, I think it's going to be um, okay to get in and out of places a little bit. So, all right. Um, I'm going to switch to the uh, other camera here. Let's see. What about, um, what about these pins? I think I might have pins in the way immediately. Let's see. If I come in here, I can get our first little loop. And in theory, I could get like another one maybe right after. And then I can start filling it in and filling it in and filling it in. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to actually get rid of this guy here and this guy here. And we'll start with a big sideways swoop de doop here. Okay, we have a plan. Let's do it. All right. Oops, sorry guys, hold on a sec here. Um, hold on, I'm gonna switch back for a sec here. There we are, okay. There we go, all right, let's do it. Ooh, just became top number one viewer, awesome. Oh, thanks for the, oh, I can't see what they are from here, but thanks so much, you guys, I appreciate it. You could do spiral lines up for maybe seaweed. Oh, that's a cute idea too. All right, I gotta draw, I gotta try that. I like the idea of seaweed up, but I do like these spirals too. Yeah, cause this kind of looks like seaweed. You know what, maybe that's a better idea. Let's, let me just try and draw it out. I'm gonna try and draw it out um, right here. So I'm just gonna kind of delete this side. All right, get our little jellyfish back in here. There we go. So we could start at the bottom and do like lots of squiggles up. Ooh, I kind of like this idea. This might be way easier for me to do. <laughs> uh, just like a bunch of little kind of bits like this and we can go kind of behind him a little bit. 
I, don't, I just don't want it to look like fire, but I don't think it will. And then we can kind of come back and fill in all these shapes with our bubbles, even though, you know, we really, I'm just thinking we probably don't even need too many bubbles. We could just, we could, like, if we wanted to, we could just do, like, this kelp, or this, this, um, kelp, right? Or what, what were you, oh, like, seaweed, seaweed, seaweed. Is there other kinds of, like, plant life? We could do, like, kind of little leafy ones here and there, or maybe that's weird. We could just stick to this, these lines. And then, like, right above him, we could do, like, little bubbles. Like, he's blowing bubbles a little bit. I don't know. What do you guys like? Oh, shoot. Let me, let me go above here. Sorry. Um, do we like... I'm a little afraid of these looking like fire. Ooh, but we could do little ones. What if we do little ones at the bottom? And they, they wouldn't have to be everywhere. They could be just like every once in a while and some go up higher and some go down. Ooh, and we could add like a little fish here and there. Like, yeah, kind of like that. Just adding a fish here and there. And then we can come up, still do a, like a little squiggle squish. Um, we could draw all those first. Yeah, uh, like one, a couple little spirals over here. And then the rest we could fill with pebbles and make it really dense. Okay, we're gonna do all of the things. <laughs> I know this looks like a crazy mess, but sometimes I have to draw, like my brain needs to like see it in action. And you know, so I think I, think I got it now. Gosh, I kind of don't want pins on here at all. <laughs> I'm gonna put a pin back up here and then I'm gonna, d I'm gonna do the seaweed first. So I like this idea. We're gonna do all of our, sh our like big shapes first and then we're gonna just fill this thing with pebbles. Um, and I think that's gonna be called, or that's gonna be cool. All right, so starting from the bottom instead. Oh my gosh, dropping all my pins on the floor. I'll definitely have to remember to get those later. All right, now back over here. I am, I'm liking, I'm liking these thoughts here. So seaweed first. I'm gonna go outside my my line here. Uh, first thing I gotta do is bring the needle up, or the um, bobbin thread up. So I'm just going backwards, and let's pull that, and it should. Oh, maybe I gotta go forwards. The machines are different from each other, so like, oh gosh, I can't get it. Um, this machine is um, opposite of my other vintage machine that we typically use there. I think I have it now. A little bit more. Wait. There we go. Come here, guy. There, so now our bobbin thread and our stitching thread are both up. So putting my foot down. I'm gonna just put a couple stitches in there. I am gonna put my little gloves on. I do like, um, I do like wearing these. And all right, so we are gonna do little squiggly seaweeds and then then uh, um, then we'll go back and add in like the swirly, you know, water swooshes and then we'll go back in and if we still think we need it, I mean, maybe we don't need any more after that. I don't know. Uh, but then I, I, I still do kind of like the idea of doing all the bubbles. So in that case, I want all these main elements to be rather large so that they stand apart when we do the bubbles. Okay, let's do that. So again, this is free motion quilting. That's when, <laughs> and you'll see, I, I cannot talk and drive at the same time. So the machine is just doing it's straight downward movement and we are doing all of the moving. So it's basically drawing with thread. And it definitely takes some getting used to. So we're gonna do our best here. So this is supposed to be like 
um, kelp or seaweed. Let's see, how would I get a fish in here? I could do a fish that's like behind some algae. And then, now I'm calling it algae, some seaweed, and then that's how we could see a fish maybe. And so I'm in that outer perimeter here, and it, that's how I'm going to travel from one area to the next. All right, so let's try one with a fish here. So I'm going to come up, and I'm going to do like the back side of the fish. We're going to do as if this fish is hiding. Okay. <laughs> See if this works. And then the algae or the seaweed's coming down. And now we're going to draw the rest of the fish. <laughs> Alright, this is a crazy looking fish, but I think we get the idea. It's like a little piranha. Piranha down in there. <laughs> That's going to do the job, though. You know what I should be doing is maybe do, like overlapping some of these so that they look like they're going behind a little bit. I think I think that'll be fine if I just cross over them. I mean, we'll be able to see through it. I'm going to remove some pins here. Um, I think I'm going to do that. So maybe that'll look a little less like flames, but I think I think it's going to be fine. Whatever we do here is going to be fine. I think I'm going to switch above for you guys. I think you guys can maybe see a little bit better this way. Uh, let me know if you want me to switch back. But I think here, let's just cross over a little bit. What I should have done is more a ribbony look where I could cross over a few times. I think I might go back and add some of those. So let's let's do one here. Like what I mean. I know I'm off the edge here. But I just mean, oh, that's totally what I should have done. That looks way more like um Way more like seaweed. Oh, well, that sucks. Um, but let's maybe I just go back and add a few to mimic that. So I'm going to just travel along the bottom here. Let's add one here. As long as we have a few, then I think we'll, we'll get it. So all I'm doing is just crisscrossing them over a little bit. There. Oh, my gosh, that looks so much better. So let's let's add a few more. We'll add a little one here. Yeah, okay, that's totally making it look less like flames and more like seaweed. I'll, I'll show you guys in a close-up here soon here, but... We'll make this one prominent. There, that looks way more like seaweed. Okay, let's do one here. Let's just kind of cross it over this one that's already here. So I know I'm in the in the background for a lot of this one again, but I think we're gonna be fine. There, okay. I think I need to add one more here.
right, I think that's stage one. Um, I think I'm gonna just travel around the outside. So let's take a look this way again. I, I do wanna add some of these swooshes. So let's, I'm gonna just travel up. But here you can kind of see some of the squiggles we're doing. And I don't know if I really need to do so many bubbles. I think, um, I think it'd be fun to do a few bubbles. So maybe we still do bubbles like above, above um, his head a little bit. And maybe, maybe at the top we do a few bubbles. Uh, do you ever use a different color thread? So I am using a different color thread here. I'm using an orange. Uh, let me just show you on uh, TikTok here real quick um, the color. So here's like an example of one here for you guys. Oops, those are the two that we haven't done yet. So here's here's like the co color we're doing. So I'm using an orange for for the quilting. So all the quilting is definitely very visible. Um, I don't always I don't always do that, but uh, that's been kind of the fun for for this project here. Oh, sorry, you guys. <laughs> I forgot to switch on you. So, all right, let's 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 keep going on, on these swooshes. So I think you'll be able to see here soon. Okay, let's get a swoosh going. These are what scare me. Okay, here we go. This is where I hold my breath. Okay, and a big swoosh. So this swoosh is actually going to go off the page a little bit, which I think is fine. And then then the other, the one that we do on the other side can be a, a little bit lower, maybe. All right. I think I'm going to just bring the needle up here, and uh, I'll just jump over to the other side. So let's use scissors for the day. Let's snip that. So all right, there's what we got so far. We got we got some LG down there or some kelp and then we got our first little squiggle. So uh, here it is for you guys. Um, that's what we got so far. So I think we need a lower kind of swoosh right here and maybe like the suggestion of a swoosh. And I mean, we, we definitely don't need more quilting on this. There's a lot going on, but I still do like the idea of some little circle bloops. Maybe we just do a few, like maybe, maybe just a few, like right, right above his head. I kind of like that idea. All right, so we'll, we'll come down here and do a swoosh, maybe right above this kelp. And then like another one here. Oh no, I have to keep it over here. So maybe we'll just do one, like one little swoosh here. And then here I'll do a bunch of little bubbles that, that connect. So some tiny pebbling. That might look a little goofy, but I still want to do it. We're going to give it a go. All right, let's get rid of this guy. Okay, so I'm going to come from this way. Do a big kind of swoop. Maybe I just do another swoop here to suggest, I feel like I need three, so we'll just like fill this corner with that. Then I'm gonna travel to the top and maybe it won't be totally pebbles, it'll just be like little circles with a little connector. Okay, let's go, let's do it. Talk myself into it. <laughs> okay, let's. Oh, I gotta set this up first. So let's get my needle, my bobbin thread up again. I gotta think it through again. Okay, yeah, right there. So I forgot if I have to go backwards or forward again. Let's go backwards. Yeah, okay, I'm bringing that bobbin thread up. So both my threads are on the top. Come on guy, there you are. Get my little stiletto to bring them both here. Okay, man, it's funny just like switching in the middle and trying new things in the middle is, it's exciting. <laughs> I do still, 
I do still get like excited and nervous and whatever doing the free motion quilting. I definitely, I mean, I suppose all these projects are, are like my digging in, um, digging into it a little bit more, but man, I almost feel like I need a project that it's like only free motion quilting. Like I just have a bunch of squares and I just practice like swirls. Like I just practice the swirls over and over and over and over and over and over and over again until I get like completely comfortable. Like, cause man, I am not, <laughs> I, I am not comfortable getting in and out of spaces. I'm not comfortable with swirls. I just, I'm not comfortable in general, like having one line that I always have to connect. That's, that's the part that kind of gets me. Like I get trapped and then I'm like, well, how do I get out of here? Or how do I leave like this nice quilting without you know, and getting out of it, and then, you know, I don't know, trying to fill it in. All right, let's stick, let's go. Not to mention, like, keeping the speed of the stitching going, and having my circles look not crazy. Lots of things to practice for sure. Okay, so there's another, like, loop-de-loop, -loop. so I think I wanted to, like, add, like, come in with another one as if it's coming up a little bit. So, again, this one will be, this one will be basically hidden to some extent in the border, but we get a little suggestion of it, and that's kind of what I want. And maybe I'll put another one, like, coming in from the top just for another, like, suggestion of swooshes. So, yeah, we're looking like... Like, like a, it's, we got a kelp forest going on with some, some tides. That's what we can call this. All right, so here I want to come in over the top. I don't have a lot of fabric here to do it. But I just want to add another swoosh here. There. Okay. Yeah, I like that. That's cute. So here... <laughs> Here you guys go at the sewing machine. So there's there's that last swoosh. So again, we have our line here, our blue line of like what we're gonna be cutting this to basically. Uh, so, all right, so now I can travel to the top here and I think we'll add, we'll try and do a little, little pebble work down into down into him. But I think, I think we kind of got it. I almost wanna go over to this side and add a little squiggle too. Yeah, let's do that. So. We'll do these pebbles in the middle, which are hopefully going to look like bubbles. So I'm just going to travel over there. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how to get down there and how to get out. Maybe I don't go out. Maybe I just end it down there. We're just going to start. We'll have a little bit of practice up here. So this is called pebbles. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna look like, it's just gonna look like eggs, <laughs> like jellyfish eggs hanging out here. I'm gonna try to work my way back up. We're out of the, we're in the safe zone, so it's a little goofy. It looks like some grapes or something, but I, I, I still like it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call this guy. Oh, wait, we wanted to travel over here. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, I'm going to still use the gloves. It's just easier to move the fabric. I should get some of those um, fabric gloves. Those would work too. So I'm going to travel over the top here, and let's just get another circle in here by this wave. So it looks like there's a bunch of wave stuff going on. There we go. That's good. So, all right, I think we're done with this one. Let's uh, pop it out of here. Again, it looks crazy around the borders, but that's what's gonna get cut off. So, ooh, we can actually look at 
how that's going to be. Um, so here's here's where it kind of ended up. <laughs> some kelp, some swooshes, and some sort of bubbles. I think that's I think it works. We're trying stuff. That's that's what we're doing. We're trying stuff. But here we go. So here's it framed a little bit better. Cute, and I forgot. I mean, really, when we quilt, we're going to be, like, pulling the fabric in a little bit more. So I do have to just, I mean, I guess we'll be sewing around that. But I just, I have to remember that, like, the edge that we draw a little bit, that might, that might come back, might come back into it. But I think that's looking cute. So there, uh, it's a little bit closer for you guys. Uh, the bubbles aren't, like, so weird once we, once we cover some of it up. So there we are. <laughs> a little framed bit. Okay, so let's, let's move on. I think we got one done. And, uh, oh, no, Lynn's asking, how do I, how am I finding the Sew Steady mat? Wait, that's what it's called, right? Yeah, Sew Steady mat. So this is, I'm kind of testing this out. Um, this is meant to, uh, make whatever you're sewing glide on it a lot easier. I mean, I'm, I'm not thinking about it. So that must mean that it's working great <laughs> is kind of what I'm thinking. So, uh, we are just sliding around it really nicely. Nothing snagging on anything. So I think, oh gosh, yeah. If I go right on the acrylic here, oh, that feels significantly different. So I'm giving it like two thumbs up right now. Yeah. Me going like this, it just, it's super smooth here. It feels like there's a little stick happening, a little gripping happening. Oh, Freddy Fish computer game. Oh, I don't know the Freddy Fish computer game. That's funny because we were all about all those like Apple II GS computer stuffs. All right, we got that guy done. Let's see if we can get this guy done tonight as well. I, I do want to do hand quilting on the giraffe. Um, I don't think we're going to get to it today. But uh, we'll come back later this month because we have a few free weeks. Maybe we can do the, we can hand quilt it then because that's going to take, that could take a week anyway. So maybe that's what we do is hand quilt this guy for, for a week. That'd be kind of nice. That, that'd be something fun to do. All right. So now this one, we talked about maybe drawing it out beforehand. Um, maybe let's draw it out on our little sketch pad deal here. This, this really does help me make, help me feel a lot more comfortable when I go into this. So this is just a clipboard. I couldn't find, I know we have a dry erase little mini board like this somewhere, but this clipboard is actually working great because then I can just store on the other side. I can just store my, my wipe when I'm not using it. Okay. Oh, they also make it polished to keep it slippery. Oh, that's interesting, Catherine. I, I guess I kind of like the idea of just putting the mat down versus like something else. So, all right, let's let's just draw this dude quick. He's kind of big, so pew 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 smiley. I I okay. Here's our inchworm. So we don't have much room around him, kind of like so. So we don't have. That much room. So I like the idea of a leaf. Maybe it can go around the eye too. So like maybe we come up from here, go around this, and then maybe we go to him and then we, we just trace around him a little bit. So it's like a really big leaf and then like we could come back up here a little bit because that's kind of fun. Okay, I like that. So let's, let's say it comes off this side. So we're kind of off the grid a little bit, but let's say maybe, maybe we come back down. I don't know. Let's get up a little higher and then we could have another leaf and then we can um, maybe go off. Okay. I don't really like this shape. All right. I already do that. This is the stuff that I gotta think through before before we do it. Now, actually, I don't know if we really need to draw it on. We'll, we'll still draw it on. I feel like I need to. Okay. But here can be another leaf, and then the branch can go up here. Maybe there's a little stick of some sort. Yeah, I don't think I like that. Let's, let's keep it to leaves. We'll go around this way, and... 
Maybe there's a branch coming this way that we can do a leaf on. And then like here it could be like the whole apple. Okay, I clearly don't know how that looks. So let's let's do that over. <laughs> let's just draw an apple once here. Well, maybe we'll make it a little a little apple so we can tell what it is. So he'll he'll just be looking at the apple. So let's see, an apple kind of more heart shape on the top, I think. There, I think that looks apple-ish, right? So we need it, we need it on something yet. How would apples hang from a branch? Probably like that. And maybe he has leaves coming off of him. There we go, that's looking cute. Small leaf. And then this is a big leaf that he's on. And then maybe we have like another leaf down here just to kind of continue the leafy thing. We could actually do some cross hatching in here maybe. Like actually draw some lines like this. just to make the apple stand out a little bit. Kind of digging that. All right, I kind of, I'm kind of liking it. <laughs> I know I'm just kind of like in it right now, but I, but I do kind of like it. All right, I think, I think I have enough to kind of sketch on, on here. So I am going to do this a hair different than the last one and that I'm going to actually draw with my water syllable marker here. So let's, let's draw the apple again. And this will be able to come off, so that's that's good because I'm going to draw a pile of sketchy lines. Okay, then he kind of comes back up. I don't want it to look like a tomato, though. There, I think that's that's better. Way up up high here. He's going to be off the page a little bit though if I do it weird. So let's let's have a leaf kind of come behind him. There, that, that will get off the page a little bit. The stem can kind of go off the page. Okay, that's looking decent. All right, all right, we like that. And then maybe, so I'll draw this line first, but then maybe I can go back in and add some like cross hatch. I don't know if that'll look any good, but just to give it a little bit more depth, maybe. Like so. All right. <laughs> thread painting. Yeah, exactly, Noli. We'll do a little thread painting. Um, we could even, like, cross up this way, too, maybe. Like, some real cross hatching. That, that'll be interesting. I, I'm not great at that. These might look like little sawtooth teeth, but... We're gonna try it. And then here we wanted this leaf that he's on. How did I draw it here? Kind of coming off the page. Maybe this is more of a branch. And then the leaves come off of it. So maybe, maybe this comes up and off the page a little bit more. And then the leaf comes off of it. Coming down. And then we can go like a little bit inward like that. Maybe when we're here, I can go this this direction with the stem too, or the um the center of the leaf. Th what I'm curious is is how I can uh, um stay, how well I'm gonna be able to stay on these lines. Oh, leaves and one with a bite out of it. Oh yeah, we should definitely have some bites out of this, shouldn't we? Maybe there's one that he got to already, or maybe he has bites out of this. Maybe maybe down here he bit 
he bit on it a little bit. That's a good idea, though. Let's let's have like little bite marks out of it. That's that's a, kind of a cartoony, cute, obvious bite mark, maybe. <laughs> oh, this is so silly. Okay, I think that'll look like a bite mark. He already ate some on here. Now he's gonna. He's like, woo! Look at that. That's better real estate up there. Let's let's go for that. So he already started on this leaf. Okay, I love that. We're gonna have that cute little leaf in there, and then now let's just let's fill this in with some other leaves, maybe, just so we have more quilting in, and uh, like here too, maybe. Maybe we have a leaf coming off here. I should have looked at like what apple apple leaves look like beforehand. This is what it looks like now. And then we got this stem going and maybe maybe a branch comes out this way or the suggestion of it. And then this is still the outside area. And then we could come in and just like one extra leaf. Just We're just filling these in with kind of leaves. Which maybe a, a little smaller one. Some sort of leaf there too. Okay, so we kind of have all these little leafies. Um, oh, you know what? Leaves sometimes have that, like that edge flipped up. Maybe that's what we should be doing. I'm not great at drawing those, but maybe that'll make some of these look more like leaves, having that flipped up edge. We'll try it on that guy. I like it. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> let's let's do it. I I think we got we got here. So I am gonna just kind of follow this line. So I'm gonna start down here. This should maybe go off a little bit more. Now I'm getting picky with the design. This should maybe go off a little bit more so it's not at the start stopping at the same point that that is. Okay. We're going to start down here, and then I'm going to come over here. We'll do this leaf with all the little chomps in and whatever. Then we'll come up and do some of this stuff uh, and work our way over to this apple, and we'll end with, like, all this cross-hatching and stuff in the apple. Okay. Plan made. Let's do it. I like it. Okay. Let me – let's just do that thing where I bring the thread up, the bobbin thread It. There we go. Come on, little guy. He's stuck. There we are. Uh, here. Grab my stiletto. All right, we got it. Okay, so I'll flip you guys around. Let's give this a go. Leaves and one, yeah, I'm excited about the little bites out of it. Um, okay, starting with this leaf. So, so the thing I have to remember here is that I, I want to actually follow these lines. I'm not... In my head, I'm like, ooh, what is a leaf shape? But I'm like, I drew it out, and it's right here. So I'm going to trace this the best I can, even though I realize that this leaf in particular is kind of messed up. So I'm editing it as I go to some extent. But in general, I'm going to try and keep the shape. Because so I did just sort of sketch this in. I didn't really mega draw it in. But all right. Leaf number one done. <laughs> Let's scooch along the bottom. Okay, and so here's where I kind of have this stem going. I don't think I need to move my pin. I'm not gonna. Um, this one though, I'm a little nervous about. Let's move this and this one I am too. Move him and him. 
Okay, so let's think about this. I'm gonna come up at the bottom, do all the little chompy chomp marks, come up to here, do this side of the stem vein, then come back, and then we're gonna trace around him, do this side of the stem vein, and then we're back to where we were. Okay, I got it. Okay, let's let's do this. I actually kind of want to do. I don't know how I'm gonna get this stem in, but maybe I'm not gonna worry about it quite yet. Okay. All right, we're by the little chompy chomps. Now these ones I can't really see after I go over it because I don't have a clear foot. That's actually kind of interesting with all this. I do kind of have to look forward a little bit because I can't can't see through my foot. All right, now we're gonna trace around our little dude. Top of the leaf. All right, and we're gonna come on down. Let's get this side of that vein, and then kind of this little stem. All right, and we're gonna come up to the next leaf. Ooh, this is that one that we're gonna do that little swoop in. How am I gonna do that though? Like how am I gonna get out of it? That's the challenge. So I'm, I can come up this way. Come back down. So I think I'm gonna go up to the point, come back down to get the underside, then go the top half and then do the vein on the way back, and then that'll get me back down. Okay. So getting that little swoop up to the top, and now I'm gonna get the underneath part, which is kind of should be a little bit flatter, I think. There we go. Then up this side. And then like the vein back down. All right, I think we did did something there. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go off the page here a little bit. There we go. Um, so now I'm gonna actually come back down here real quick and get like this other side of the branch because I want this to look like a branch. So we'll just kind of come up here. I'm gonna end up all the way back at the bottom, which is fine. Let's remove this pin, and then I gotta get all the way back up to get those other leaves. Get both of these right away. All right. We're getting it, we're getting it. And I'm gonna just finish this. So we're gonna be here like maybe five, 10 more minutes later than, than the clock says. Ooh, and while I'm speaking about the clock, we are doing the get $20 or more in the shop, and I'll throw in a free mystery gift if you get something during this live here. Ooh, I think I'm off the page a little bit. All right, there we are. So I'm kind of traveled back up there, and uh, let's do let's do this little leaf. off the page here. I am, I do feel like I'm breathing more than usual, so I do feel maybe a little bit more comfortable tonight than usual, so that's kind of exciting. All right, so traveling up the outside again. We'll get this kind of top leaf that's hanging. I think right there is probably fine. Then we're getting we're getting over to this to the apple. We're getting there. Just trying to think of when do I do the leaf and the apple. Maybe I do that whole thing, that whole apple thing, come back up and then get the leaf right at the end. I think we do that, all right. Look at 
that one a little weird, but that's okay. Let's travel. Okay, now here's where that stem comes in. So now we're gonna do this apple. So I think I'm gonna go around the outside first. We'll probably go around it a couple times. So I'm gonna go around it first and then end up back up here. And then maybe then we start kind of doing some of this cross hatching attempt. Yeah. Alright, and we'll get more of the stem in a little bit, I think. But there's kind of like this divot here, and then let's go around, and maybe we're just... Like you said, we're just thread painting a little bit in here. And I might go back and put some vertical lines in too. It's gonna look a little goofy, but we're having fun. gone a little over the top with this but I like it I'm gonna go around this outside again I think that's plenty. Let's go up the stem, get this leaf. Get it off the edge and I think we're done. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what we got here. And uh, yeah, call it an evening, I think. All right, so here, ooh, let's, let's take all the pins out too before we look. So you can kind of see the initial, the initial look of it. Uh, maybe when we start the giraffe, we can just take a wet rag and take all this off. I don't have a wet rag right now with me, but it's gonna look a whole lot better with all, all these lines everywhere. So that's kind of what we got going on. So <laughs> kind of a little scene going on there. And let's just frame it off again because I think it's just going to look so much better. Oh my god, immediate better. <laughs> look how cute that's looking. Uh, cropped. Ugh, okay, we're doing more of this for sure. More, oh, you guys can't see. <laughs> Sorry, there we go. Uh, sorry about that. So here, here we go. This is it with it cropped. I think it's pretty freaking adorable. You guys had great ideas there. So uncropped again. Uh, looks a little messy, but again, cropped. It like magically looks super cute. <laughs> so here, here's it for you guys, cropped. I think this was such a cute idea, you guys. This is like um, a combo of like three different ideas here and I just think it looks adorable. Now I wanna do more drawing like this, like drawing right on the thing and uh, like doing whole scenes. So keep that in mind when we do some of our next embroideries because I'm totally digging it. This is plenty of stitching too for this too. We don't need any more. What does it look like on the back? Can't really tell. Kind of see stuff going on there. Fun! Okay, and I definitely like the little chewed up leaf. That was a great touch. Um, so thanks for that idea for sure. And uh, yeah, I will, um, we'll have to take the water soluble marker off. That'll make a big difference, I think, in the look of it. But yeah, I'm stoked. So we got that guy and uh, this little scene. We have two little like kind of scenes tonight. That's fun. I like both of them. And then, uh, like I said, uh, we are going to do this one, this giraffe, the hand stitching, the hand quilting. And uh, uh, I think we'll do that the uh, like last week of the month or the second last week of the month. Uh, we have the embroidery of the month 
to do next week, and then um, the week after that, maybe we can work on on the hand stitching of it a little bit. But I'm gonna, I'll take the water soluble marker off of this maybe tonight, and uh, then uh, then I can take a nice photo of it so so we can look at what this turned out like a little bit more closely because I think this is actually really really cute. So all right, you guys. So thank you all again. Um, let me just show you like so. There it is kind of framed up again. I like that guy. So that's the eye. And then let me frame up the J again so you can see. It really does help having that frame. It just really kind of cleans it up a little bit. So here's here's that one with the little kelp and the LG and the little the like tide swooshes. Uh, I think they're both looking fun. So awesome, you guys. I appreciate you joining in again. Um, and again, we're doing that uh, order $20 or more from the shop, and I'll throw in a free mystery gift. You don't need a code or anything. Um, I'll just plop one in there. I'll let that go for a few more minutes yet tonight. And uh, I appreciate it a ton. And thanks again, everyone. Uh, I will see you again uh, Monday at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. So have a lovely, lovely weekend. Good night. Just ending those other lives. So thank you guys.